G'day, I'm Dave with the Bloke News Headlines for Friday the 8th of December. Uh, look, hitting the top of the headlines today is Lara Bengal, that all-time good sort that did the uh, Where the Bloody Hell Are You? ad for Australian Tourism. Well, some photos have turned up of her when she was just 16 years old that she did for a bit of a portfolio, and uh, Ralph magazine have decided to use them. So um, if you'd like to cop a look at uh, the fact that she's been a good sort for a long time, uh, the latest edition of Ralph has got her in there. So um, wouldn't mind seeing some more up-to-date photos. She's, uh, she is such a good sort. Oh, thumbs up to her. Uh, well, thumbs down to Ralph because they're actually unauthorised photos apparently and she's cracking a bit of a spack. So um, just because she's a good sort, I reckon uh, Ralph have done the wrong things. But, um, there we go. Sorry, I'm just having mental images of Lara Bingle. She's a good sort. Did I mention that? Um, the Australian Navy have now been issued new powers. So if you're an illegal fisherman and you're at the top end of this country, that's off uh, the Northern Territory and sort of uh, Western Australian um, uh, part of the country and you're illegally fishing, they've actually got the power to use force, as in all this technology and bombs and explosives and all that sort of stuff, to disable your vessel. And if you give them a hard time, they can also use capsicum spray on you, so watch out. So, um, yeah, stop illegal fishing in our, in our waters. I'm sure you'll be watching this if you're an illegal fisherman from another country and can't even speak English, really. Most likely, I don't know for sure, but just presuming that. Might speak some English. Uh, no fishing, no fishing. Um, <laughs> speaking of politically incorrect and politics, Pauline Hanson the clown of politics, is going to be running for the federal ele election next year. She's put her hat in the ring. I have to say good on her, because without her, politics is really boring. She says the most ill-considered, unthought-of things that you wouldn't think anyone would be able to get away with today. Her two latest things is um, we should stop bringing in people from South Africa because they've all got AIDS. And, uh, oh, there was something else here. Um, oh, and Muslims are ruining the Australian way of life. They're getting too many considerations and it's spoiling everything for us. So, um, yes, if you're South African or Muslim, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a little safe bet on that you probably won't vote for her. I think there's a fair chance of that. Um, if you're a redneck from central Queensland and can't stand anything other than... Um, Anglo-Saxon yobbos, then you'll probably give her your vote. So, um, go Paul. Look, if anything, she's funny. She's funny. Um, a, uh, keep it in Queensland. A doctor in Mackay in Queensland has actually been banned from being a doctor, or disbarred, or whatever they call it, um, because of having inappropriate sexual relations with patients. Now, that's plural. Patients, not patient. Now, uh, if you've been banned as a doctor for having inappropriate relations with too many women, would his next career choice be a porn star? I'm thinking he'd be up for it. Good on you. Um, yeah. Now, the swimming championships, a lot of Queensland news today. It must be the full moon thing or something. Uh, swimming cha championships are up in Queensland. Uh, another good sort, Safie Eddington. She actually decided to swim in a bikini instead of the regulation uh, all-piece thing that they use. And boy, did she look hot. Um, no, no idea whether she won the, won the race or not. She just looked really good. Um, bring back the bikini in uh, professional swimming, I think, it's, um, if, you, if they've got the body for it. Some of those shields look a bit like blokes sometimes. And you think, uh. But uh, no, she definitely doesn't. Definitely a good sort. And uh, just finishing up with, a uh, Christmas party in Ireland was um, uh, delayed. Let's just use the word delayed. Because one of the camels, yes, camels, got pissed. Um, uh, the term pissed means drunk in Australia. So I've used the word pissed before and people sort of went, well, he didn't seem very angry. No, pissed in America means angry. Pissed in Australia means drunk. Um, so, uh, Goose, the camel, or Gus, the camel, um, <laughs> had 200 mince pies because someone forgot to lock his cage or whatever it was. 
Um, so just got a bit of a wander around the tents while um, everyone was getting ready for the party. Found the mince pies, got a bit thirsty, opened eight cans of Guinness with his teeth and then drank them all, so was staggering around a bit. So what a hoot. Can you imagine turning up at a Christmas party and there's a pissed camel wandering around? Definitely a merry Christmas and it's a whole new meaning to the term party animal. I'm Dave, the party animal for Blake News.